dinosaurs. I'm here in the Clayton H. Riddell Faculty of Environment, Earth, and Resources, and I was told that there are dinosaurs in here. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> Were there really dinosaurs like this in Manitoba? Well, the dinosaur just behind us here is from Alberta. But if you look upward, you see the three other gigantic creatures that we have in the menagerie. And they're marine creatures of the type that did occur here in Manitoba. There, there is a giant like turtle thing here? There were giant turtles in Manitoba. There were giant fish. There were giant swimming uh, lizards, reptiles in the water. Yep. Wow. And I guess was that Lake Agassiz or were this was, we're talking way this before is, this? This is way before Lake Agassiz. How many millions of years? We're talking here in Manitoba the deposits about 80 million years old. Wow. And have some of these been found in Manitoba? Yes. The ones here are from elsewhere in North America, but similar marine forms have been found right here in, in Manitoba. Wow. Now this guy here. What, what, which one is this? What's the name of this one? This uh, is a Tyrannosaurus. This is the Tyrannosaurus. But it's not Tyrannosaurus rex. This is a smaller version oh. known as Gorgosaurus. And, oh, thank uh, goodness for that. And we wouldn't want the really big one. That's right, yeah. yeah. Tyrannosaurus got to be about twice the size of this Gorgosaurus. But Gorgosaurus was one of the uh, common Tyrannosaurus dinosaurs in what's now southern Alberta. Wow. Now, this museum is actually free. It's open to the public. That's right. It's absolutely free. It's open to the public. We encourage uh, people, uh, parents with kids, uh, teachers with the school children, uh, children of all ages, to come and visit us here. It's, it's open uh, uh, 830 till 430 every day that the university is open. Wow. Year -round. Wow. And it, it, uh, normally you'd have to you know, pay for the museum or, uh, to get admission to have something like this, but this is a really outreach. That's for, right, for and it, it was, uh, it was uh, we're able to do this because of the donations uh, from so many people in, in memory of at least. Now who put these together? I mean, they don't come as a kit or anything. Well, you know, they kind of do come as a kit. Uh, there's various uh, companies that do these things. These are casts from actual real, real skeletons, and uh, they, they basically come in pieces that, uh, that can be assembled here. Wow. Now, do we have some real dinosaur bones here, though, that we can look at? We have uh, bones of dinosaurs, but especially of marine reptiles okay. and fish that are found here in Manitoba. Well, let's take a look at some of those. Sure. Very interesting. So, Bob, what are we looking at here? These are real bones. These are real bones of marine uh, uh, creatures that lived here in Manitoba 80 million years ago. Um, these bones are from southwestern Manitoba, an area near Morden and they're preserved in this rock called shale, which is a mud that was deposited on the bottom of the Cretaceous Seaway that covered the province. Now this looks like a spine or something here. Yeah, what we have here is a spine along with some of the ribs of a sea monster type of a creature known as a plesiosaur. Now plesiosaur, that was the one that swam and had the long beak and, and uh... People thought maybe it was the Loch Ness Monster or something Th like that. That's right, yep. Some of the plesiosaurs had a very long neck and a small head. Others had a shorter neck and a larger head. But they all had a fairly inflated body and large paddles that they used for swimming with. How big would this have been in real life? Some of these things got to be 10, 15 meters long. I mean, oh, these were gigantic That was creatures. big. That was yep. big. With these big flippers here, it would have power to really go through the water very very easily. Yeah, the, the flipper here, as well as the backbones and the jaw bones, belong to a different type of marine reptile called a mosasaur, or sea lizard. And they got to be up to 15 meters long as well. They were the real giants uh, at the top of the food chain. So if you're in Manitoba 80 million years ago, this is what you'd have to contend with. You don't want to go swimming. No, well, no. <laughs> now, Bob, this is a very weird display. This doesn't look like a dinosaur but it's a creature of some kind. I I've, haven't I've seen anything like this before. This is another type of a giant, except instead of a dinosaur, this is actually a trilobite. A trilobite. Now, how many years ago was this? This goes back about 445 million years ago. Older than the dinosaurs. Way older. And were these no were in Manitoba? This lived right here in Manitoba. It was found up in what's now Churchill. It looks like a giant cockroach. Kind of, it's related to them distantly, but this lived underwater. I mean, they're not played and touched some little cockroaches, but this, I mean, I'd hate to, to see that one when I was in, at the beach, too. I think you'd run away from this one. Yes, I would. This is such a neat place to be able to just look around and even reach out and touch a dinosaur.